Well, well. What do we have here? Did you get lost in the woods, young one? Me? I could ask the same of you, stranger. You've stumbled into my forest. And I don't take kindly to strangers. Is there a reason why you're out at such an hour in a place like this? I see. You do realize who I am, right? Think real hard. What creatures would be wandering around in a forest at this hour? Oblivious humans aside. What comes to mind on a night like tonight? Not quite. Although they are a few on the other side of the river. But they have common sense to avoid this part. Since you're new around here. I'll even give you a hint to who I am. <sighs> Technically correct. But seeing as I've got a lot going on tonight, I'll spell it out for you. I'm the alpha of this part of the woods. And you've managed to walk right in the middle of my territory without being detected. So now that you know who I am, I'll ask you again. Who are you? And what are you doing here? Oh, I've got a runaway on my hands. How delightful. What would cause a stunning individual like yourself to run away from home? I'm sure it must be something serious to have you wandering alone in the woods with no supplies whatsoever. Oh, fuck. I thought we had more time before the storm arrived. We better get going before it starts raining. Follow me and keep up, or I'll leave you behind. What's with that look? I was just pulling your leg. I wouldn't abandon you out here. I have a heart, you know. We're almost there. Hurry up or you get soaked. It's not gonna be my fault if you get a cold from being out in the rain at night. So stay close to me, alright? There's the house. It seems like we made it just in time. Take off those shoes. The mud is a bitch to get out of the carpet. Leave them on the porch. It's covered so the rain won't get them wet. Here we are, home sweet home. I know it's not much, but you're welcome to stay here until the storm passes. It doesn't seem like you've gotten too wet in the rain. Go ahead and sit on the couch over there. I'll get the fire started. You never did answer my questions. Why did you run away? Might as well tell me since we're not going anywhere anytime soon. Nothing you say would surprise me at this point. I've had everyone from escape prisoners to overambitious Girl Scouts out here. Look, I can't force you to tell me anything, but it's obvious that you could use someone to vent to. You've got this whole frustrated and exhausted mood about you. So you had a huge fight with your family and you decided to leave, what could you possibly fight over that would cause you to run away? Really now, your family's gonna make a fuss over something as insignificant as that? Fucking humans, I swear, I can't be your family, making a big deal out of nothing. Still doesn't explain why you left. Damn. It's a shame that you humans can't accept and love each other regardless of your differences. This is why I tend to steer clear of strangers. I have no patience for those who can't accept the differences of others. I have no patience for those who can't accept the differences of others. 
A pack? Of course I have a pack. But they're out hunting. Which is why I was surprised that you managed to get this far before one of them spotted you. We treat each other with utmost loyalty and respect. It helps that I keep them in line. But they all work hard to make sure we're a tight-knit group. So do you know where you are even going out there? The nearest town is a few miles away. Did you mean to tell me you walked here? Your car gave you some trouble, so you were walking through the woods looking for a mechanic? I see. You decided to cut through the woods as a shortcut and managed to get lost. It doesn't seem like the storm is going to break anytime soon. And my pack is due to return here soon. Looks like you're stuck here. Now, now, that's no way to talk. But someone as cute as you shouldn't even be using that language. Stay here on the couch next to the fire. I've got to get dinner started for the pack. They'll be here shortly and this diversion has already set me behind. I don't rule my pack with an iron fist if that's what you're suggesting. I have two hands that are capable of doing housework, just like the rest of them. I may lead the pack, yes, but we're not incapable of acting like functional adults either. We've got over a dozen pack members, so in a house like this, we've got plenty of chores to do. So we've set up a chore assignment list, where we rotate it every week. And this week, I've got stuck with cooking dinner and cleaning up after. It'll be a few minutes, but if anyone shows up, just tell them you're here with me and they'll leave you alone. You want to help in the kitchen? I guess I can use an extra pair of hands for making dinner. Sounds like the pack is going to be back sooner than expected. So I'd appreciate if you give me some help. Follow me to the kitchen. Oh, this house? Yeah, we own it. I bought it when we were a smaller pack. And we've almost doubled the size now. It feels less empty with everyone coming and going. You should see Monday mornings when we're all rushing to go out for work. Uh, and here's the kitchen. I'll have you start working on vegetables for curry. I'll bring you what I need chopped. I know they'll like you once they get to know you over dinner. And you don't have to tell them anything about how you got here unless you want to. You're not half bad in the kitchen. Normally, I'd still be chopping. <laughs> do you do this often? Thanks to you, tonight's curry will be even quicker than expected. I appreciate you helping out. You really didn't have to. That's true. Anything would be better than lost in the woods during a rainstorm. It seemed that the rain stopped. If you want, I can show you back to your car and call you a tow truck. Better that you get on your way before the weather gets even worse. I'll get some curry for you to take with you while you wait for the tow. It'll be at least an hour before the tow truck will arrive and I'll cover the cost to get you to the next town. I don't think you want to go back to the city where your family lives. I'll grab the food if you want to wait by the door. It'll just be a moment. What's wrong? You haven't said a word lately. Hello? Hello? Are you even paying attention? <laughs> You want to stay? You're being serious. Why would you even want to stay here? I'm sure that you'd be able to get by on your own. And trust me when I say we're a bunch of dogs. Oh, 
A deal. That sounds interesting. Tell me. What do you think you even have to bargain with? You've already said you're a runaway. So I'm not expecting much in the way of cash. You'll do all the chores for us. You do realize there are 15 of us living here, right? That means cooking, laundry, cleaning, and for what? A place to live? Why would you be willing to do that for a pack of werewolves you barely met? Alright already. Even as an alpha, I can't just tell them we're taking on a human housemaid without getting their input first. If any of them say no, you'll be out first thing in the morning. Yeah, you're welcome. I can't believe I'm even entertaining this. But I think the pack will be accepting of this. You know there's no going back, right? Once you're a member of this pact, werewolf or human, you're in it for life. I doubt anyone would let you leave if it meant they'd have to wash their own laundry again. Shit, they're here already. Stay in the kitchen until I give you the signal to come out. I like you, even though you're probably the dumbest human I've ever met. Running with wolves is not something everyone does, but I know you'll be an excellent addition to our pact. Hey guys, dinner is ready. Alex, get your feet off the table. We've got a guest. Everyone, I'd like to introduce you to... Crap, I never even got your name now, did I? Anyway, I'll let you introduce yourself. Pay attention now. I want you all to take this seriously. The floor is yours.